I'm Ngawang Cheden and 55 age. I was born in Orissa where my parents live. There's a Tibetan settlement there. It was in a very remote village. My parents are first generation after His Holiness the Dalai Lama came in India in 1960s. I've moved here in Warkala 20 years ago. This is my 20th year. So many Tibetans uh, came in India because in Tibet, Chinese are keep torturing Tibetans who left there. Uh, nobody like to die, you know, so they have to run away and uh, save themselves. When they came to India, they came day and night by walking and what they bring little food is finished on the way and they, they eat sh even shoes for fill their stomach. You know, there is such and such stories. I don't remember all, <laughs> but uh, our parents uh, had struggled a lot. Dalai Lama reached the border. They sent message to India, whether they will entry inside India or no. Then Nehruji, they invited India government is very very kind for us they welcome tibetan refugees in india indians are more friendly and kind and we have our own shelter here freedom you know so it's like our second country 20 years before when i come first there's already three tibetan families and my brother is uh, doing wholesale business. He used to go every tourist places. And he went to Kowalam Beach. One Tibetan said in Warkala also there is few Tibetans. So he came here to sell. And he found this place is very simple. And we can start our business with, because we have only small capital. And then I settled here. Warkala is lucky for me. His Holiness the Dalai Lama is everything for us. He is a God for us, more than our parents for us. We are so lucky we are breathing in this world with Dalai Lama. During his time, we lost our country and he was, he was just 20 plus very young and uh, many people thinking Tibetans are wise and good people and simple living I think it's all 99% because of His Holiness the Dalai Lama our children after they study it's difficult to get a job what they studied. We understand fully because uh, India is a big population and the first opportunity of course to Indian India children, you know. So that's why our children I think after they finished study they wanted to go abroad to work and uh, live their life there.
no matter what is going on, never keep up. Develop the heart. Too much energy in your country is spent developing the mind instead of the heart. Be compassionate, not just to your friends, but to everyone. Be compassionate. Walk for peace in your heart and in the world. Walk for peace. And say again, never give up. No matter what is happening, no matter what is going on around you, never give up. We are still hoping one day we go back to our country because we have truth.